guys to my third mini vlog. Um, I was gonna do a bright, sunny, autumn themed intro and vlog, obviously, but the weather's not helping, and plus the cafe indoors is like super loud. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but anyways, you guys all saw the title. My dreams are finally coming true, and um, right now it's 8:40. I have to get to class in 10 minutes, so. I'll tell you guys after class. Class ended right now. I'm going to meet up my friend and have lunch together. And there I'm going to tell you guys about the project. Is that called this sir? So I'm in the sale, lost in Japan. Do we try on the real? I will forget its name. I guess. Today is so big and magical. Yong Hwa Jae. Hago Yi Le. Today, this Yong Hwa Jae is a friend and a staff. How do you like it? What's your Yong Hwa Jae? Good, good. I'm excited. Future Yong Hwa Jae. Can you explain what this movie is like? A small film festival held, mm -hmm. but only media students come mm -hmm. to this festival. And we produced three films, um, in, and it's like part. It's the biggest event of the film club in film club in, mm -hmm. club in mm -hmm. Korea University's media major. So we're both in the film club. She was a staff, I wasn't because I was too busy during the summer break. I worked as a staff for a film called Requiem for Desire. The Korean title's Gun, which means string. string. And we try to portray how um, the main character suffers difficulties. He's got like a strange, he's got a strange <laughs> urge to like cut every kind of string that mm -hmm. he finds. Mm -hmm. and he goes crazy at the end. Um, we don't I want put, spoilers. Uh, but you, you know that he, go, he goes okay. straight, okay. crazy in the end. Yeah. It's yeah. a short film. It's, 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 no, it's 40 minutes. That's pretty long. It's, yeah, yeah, we've got the longest <laughs> running time oh. among the three films. <laughs> I'm back in my room and I want to continue talking about achieving my dreams. Well, um, so I've told you guys that I'm going to start making a music video and it's just a small project. I'm just going to make it because I want to and I genuinely wanted to make a music video when I first heard that song. And although I've been making so many videos this year, including the videos on this channel, well, the reason I think this means a lot to me is because it's something that I wanted to make from the start. You know, like, I've never really made this, like, sit-down vlog. You know, the reason I'm trying a new format is because I want to try new things. Like, some of you guys probably know that I started with, like, a study with me channel, and I used to only post videos of, like, related to studying, but now I try to broaden out. And, like, I always want to make new forms. I'm not an official filmmaker or producer or anything. I just want to make videos for fun. A lot of messages that I receive on Instagram or on the comments in, on YouTube is that like how do you stay motivated to study? How do you stay motivated to do anything including studying, making these videos, like everything? Well, um, um, something that I learned through the 19 years of my life, I know that's not a long time, but um, something that I learned is that um, it's not the results that matter. I mean, like, let's just say you go to the theaters and watch a movie. Yesterday, I watched Bohemian Rhapsody and I loved it. While I was watching the movie, did I think about the process of the movie? No, like, not really. Like, maybe I was kind of thinking of 
how does this um, accurately reflect Freddie Mercury's life, but I didn't really think about the process of the filmmaking itself. And, you know, it's the same with studying. Like, you get a sub like, you get a certain grade, you get a certain number for your exam. Sometimes people are judged by that only result. Like, people say that they study or work because of um, their, like, satisfaction when they get a good result. But, like, how long is that going to last? Like, that's not going to last long. And that is some of the issues that I had faced while I was studying throughout the years, although it's not very long. And um, I'm pretty sure that maybe some of you will be going through the same struggles. Um, I think we need to take a look at the process a bit more. How hard did you study? What did you have to go through, through that process of having to make a certain result? Like, my videos aren't perfect, obviously, because it's not like I went to a film school. It's not like I'm majoring in like editing, like video editing or video filming. Like I haven't learned that officially. So it's kind of obvious that I have flaws in my videos, but like, why do I do it? Is it because of the numbers? No, like if I wanted to do YouTube videos for just the views or the likes, I would just make clickbaity stuff, but I don't wanna do that because I wanna make videos that actually matter to me. And the process of making the video also matters to me. Back to everything, you know? So today, I met my friend to plan producing the music video and then I went to a film festival where my friend did an awesome job directing, filming and editing and everything. But during the summer, they did a really good job, a fantastic job. And those events, like those things made me wonder, why do I what am I going to do and why do I have to do whatever I want to do? So, um, like right now, like I say I want to work in the film industry, but is that really what I want to do? I'm not really sure about that. And what am I doing to achieve that goal? Well, I'm not sure, but I think the process of getting there, like I've said, it's not the result of me being like working in a certain industry or becoming something that matters. It's the process that I'm taking in. And um, the process I'm in right now is just me talking in front of a camera and posting, editing and posting. And that's why I think my dreams are coming true because I know I'm in the process. Although I'm not really sure if the results are gonna be like what I expect or what I want as a 19 year old right now, but I hope that I will, but I won't be upset if, you know, maybe 20 years later, I'm not who I want to be because, you know, hopefully I would be someone even better than I imagine right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to reply to all of them. I know I look like super tired and sleepy right now. I need to get some more sleep. So I'll get my sleep and in my next video, I'll be a little more energetic. Hopefully I will. See you guys in my next video.